What is up guys, Tom here, and welcome to episode 12 of my Road to Maxed Out Weapons series on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. This is part 2, the XR2, in the last episode that we got it to level 8, which is halfway to Prestige 2. Uh, so before we get into the video guys, I just like to apologise and say that I'm sorry that there was not a video yesterday, I just, I was a bit busy and I didn't, I just sort of forgot almost, I was just trying to level up, record clips with this, and I just completely sort of almost forgot about um, uploading, so I do apologise for that, but I hope this video will make up for it. So, without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. So, I came into this video just like I did with the last um, last one using the XR2, I used exactly the same setup, and it worked well once more. Um, changed up the camo and that's pretty much all I did and just played and it seemed to work quite well. Um, I also managed to unlock the chameleon camo in this episode which means I'm pretty close to it in gold on the XR2 as well as the CUDA um, which all I need to do is get to level 36 and I can do the five attachments and optics, uh, optics challenges and then I've got the XR2 and the CUDA gold uh, so that's uh, pretty good. So, anyway, we're playing uh, Safeguard uh, on Aquarium, as usual, in Ground War, because I would never actually go in the Safeguard playlist and play Safeguard uh, 6v6. Uh, so, let's just get straight into it. So, just trying to control the robot, stop them getting to it, take a guy out as he's trying to come down the stairs there, just trying to push push the spawns, uh, even though they can't really swap too much because they have to kind of spawn on that side of the map. Um, we just kind of loop back, trying to protect us from my spawn, but we are taken out as there's two of them um, coming down that way. Um, so here we are, just kind of kind of getting stuck in our spawns, as you kind of do towards the end of a safeguard game. So we're able to turn around and take that guy out, um, as, but we get heat waved and unfortunately killed by a suppressed haymaker. Uh, that's a new one, I suppose. Um, to suppress shotguns, uh, definitely not, I wouldn't really use suppressed shotguns, because I know in, in a gun game you have the suppressed KRM and that's not good, it's not even a, a um, one shot kill at point blank range as a guy that takes out with the KRM which isn't suppressed, which is how it really should be run, but we are, we are, we are able to take him out. Um, and I was running high caliber uh, on this and it definitely, definitely makes a big difference Especially because it's a burst by a weapon, uh, there's the like the time between the bursts where you're obviously not firing, uh, so an automatic weapon could beat you. Um, but if you get a headshot, then I think it's like at some point it's a one burst. If you've already put one burst into them and then you get a headshot, it all it takes is like two, two, one or two bullets. It doesn't even take the whole burst. Um, so that's kind of it's definitely a good attachment to run because if you I don't really go for headshots but if I get the headshots it definitely definitely helps me so this is um, a nuke town now um, and I basically just wanted to put it in because I need I know uh, nuke town came out for free for everybody I didn't actually get um, get nuke town purely because well I if I said in a previous video how I didn't get black Ops free till Christmas and I had connection issues and everything like that so I just I, so I just completely derped out and I've decided to buy all the DLC on its own and not actually get the season pass which is really clever because it means I'm paying more but that's just my brain and it works in a very very weird way where I just do stupid things like that. Uh, so the XR2 is definitely not a good gun for this uh, map that's what I kind of brought out of trying to use it because it's an assault rifle and it's a burst fire assault rifle um, and it's not amazing at close ranges which means it, it really didn't do well but I just wanted to include it anyway because I knew Nuketown came up for free and I did get a few good kills where I kind of, they started shooting me, I was able to turn around, turn on them and get them, um, to pick them off. But something I do realise about Nuketown is literally all the walls are made out of paper. Literally, it's so easy. Like, I can just, sometimes I just shoot at a wall and I get hit markers, not even knowing that somebody there, just thinking, oh, maybe there is somebody there. I'm just getting hit markers. Um, somehow literally all the walls are made out of paper you're not safe anywhere like that guy standing behind there if somebody shot through that wall then he'd be sort of dead straight away there you can see there's an example why the xr2 isn't great on that on this map just jumping in um trying to get some kills um and it just doesn't work uh, especially not for my uh play style um which is kind of aggressive and kind of stupid the way i kind of just jump in that's why i get no shrieks whatsoever 
so I should, should really change that, but I never kind of do. I just like to try and play aggressive and just jump in uh, and get killed and not get many kills, which is just a kind of a great way to play. Um, and also, I've been just trying to get grind out, trying to level up on Newt Town. I found it's not really that that good of a kind of map to um, level up on. I found I've been because you get the kills and stuff. And that's where the majority of your XP comes from. Um, getting like four thousand XP or whatever uh, from kills and like the in-game kind of you playing. But then the match bonuses you get, it's only like four hundred XP. So it's really not kind of a great game mode to play. So I've just really I've, I've I was just playing it, trying to level up. It got me a decent amount of levels, um, but as soon as I started to get towards the top, the more top end, uh, getting to about level 30 now in Prestige 5, I've just been like, well, it's not working, and I've switched back to Ground War, and Ground War, Ground War just works 10 times better. It, um, I just get way more XP, way more like the match bonus um, compared to this. We hardly get any match bonus, uh, so I just think Ground War is just in general is better. Uh, especially, I you know if, if Safeguard goes to round four, like you don't get much XP for the kills, but you get a lot of match bonus, so it can help you level up. Um, so that can be good. Um, so anyway, I've just been talking about that and going a bit off topic and going away from the gameplay. So let's just uh, look back at that. Back at that. So this is obviously the Nuketown 24/7 playlist. Um, playing domination yeah, as we become an assist, just trying to score the robot. It, uh, wait, oh, what am I on about? I just literally just said it's domination, and I said we're about to score the robot. Well, we're not. I have no idea what I'm on about. Um, because we're kind of just getting spawn trapped. Uh, that's the thing. If you get a spawn trap, like you're not coming out alive. Um, I found that I actually murdering my KD, which was already below one. Um, ever since like the start of the game, because I wasn't really. This is only actually ever. Been, this is only my second Call of Duty because I don't know why I didn't buy Advanced Warfare. Well, actually, I did buy Advanced Warfare, and then I took it back because I didn't think I'd play it. Um, so this is only my uh, second ever Call of Duty, um, and I kind of like, not played the 3D movement system because it was similar to Advanced Warfare, obviously with the wall, but with wall running. There's the whole team kind of comes around the corner and takes me out. Uh, so I kind of it kind of took a while for me to get used to it, and I just completely butchered my KD um, at the start of the game, and I've not been able to kind of change it back. Obviously, in games now, I mostly go positive in every single game, but it won't really change because I went so many games negative in the beginning. So it's only it's zero point nine two, which I suppose it, if you look, I think that's an average KD. Average KD is just below one, but to be honest, I think it should be higher, maybe above one. Uh, hopefully, um, but let's just go on to the last clip here uh, on infection, which is safeguard. Um, and she also run the malice. Mal I I can't. I still I don't know how to pronounce this. Um, malice. I'm pretty sure it's malice. Malice knife, uh, which I did get in supply drops. If you haven't seen that video. Um, I was going to do a supply drop opening, but they just came out, and I just thought, forget it, I'm spending my crypto keys. See, I have like 500 crypto keys, because I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I repeat, I'm not going to buy card points. It's just a waste of money, and I think I watched some sort of video where it's like, you have to spend probably at least 80, 80 pounds or dollars or whatever currency you have to actually get a weapon or something done. So I'm just going to play, get crypto keys, because I've done it once, I've got one, I wanted one of the guns, but I got a knife. But at least it shows that you can get them with crypto keys, and I'm glad you can. Uh, so I'm just going to be saving up until about 300 or 500 crypto keys, then just spending them um, and hoping I get something. Um, rather than kind of spending money, which I just think is stupid and pointless. Because 80, 80 pounds or dollars is just way too much for a gun. Like a gun, seriously, 80. Like, Activision just want that money, don't they? They're just literally just digging. They think they've they landed on a gold mine because people just keep wanting these new weapons. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to give them any money apart from, like, DLC and that kind of thing. Because uh, obviously that benefits Treyarch. So I'm pretty sure the money from supply drops doesn't even benefit Treyarch. So, um... I prefer to, if I was going to give money to either Activision or the game developers, i definitely give it to the game developers every day of the week. Because they're, they're really the people who have made the uh, game 
of the game that we play, no matter how good or bad it is. Like, people said Ghost was really, really bad. I didn't even think it was that bad, um, to be honest, because that was my first Call of Duty, um, purely because it was a 16, and I wasn't actually that 18 game, but we'll just not talk about that. Um, so, yeah, this is... That was my first Call of Duty. I didn't think it was that bad. I, think it, I thought it was probably, like, the best thing in the world, even though I was seriously, seriously bad at it. Um, but we won't talk about that either. Um, so, yeah, I, I just prefer to give money to game developers because Activision have got enough money. Like, their billion-pound company is something stupid. Um, so, I just prefer to spend it on DLC, which I suppose, and buying the game, which goes... Which helps the uh, companies who make it, even though Treyarch, I'm pretty sure, are owned by Activision. Um, but I still definitely prefer to give money to uh, the people who make the game. Um, so, anyway, just trying to come down the side here as we go off topic again. Uh, bring out the malice, just waiting for somebody to come in. And this is just Call of Duty timing here as I poke my head out and the whole team comes around there and I get killed. If I just waited a tiny bit longer around the corner with the knife, I would have been able to take them out easily. In fact, I don't even think it's a knife, I think it's more of a dagger. Because um, it's some sort of ritual kind of dagger. Um, so I don't think they'd call it a knife. Because it's kind of all bendy and when you um, do like the action with it, it makes like that noise. Um, and nobody believes me that it makes a noise. Uh, probably because I say that the noise is co totally different to what it actually makes, but it does make a noise. Um, so j just ignore this. I'm totally not using Hive. You didn't see that Hive is the worst specialist ever. Um, let's just not say anything else about it um, because it's just bad. And when I try and use it, I can't use it. But when other people use it, it's very, very annoying. Um, so we'll just ignore that because just, just pretend I was using Scythe like I was in every single other clip. Uh, so just just ignore that. So we're hiding behind here again, going for take two of trying to get somebody with a knife kill. Uh, Call of Duty, Call of Duty time. Well, not really Call of Duty timing. They just kind of walk around the corner and take me out because they obviously had a UAV or something, which I didn't realise. So here we are onto the final clip here. Uh, just sitting in this extremely sneaky spot, but I saw somebody else sitting in, so I just thought I'll do it. Why not? Let's just try it. Uh, being a bit of a camper. Uh, but I know they're going to come for me, so I kind of move away from that spot, be able to pick up a kill. Uh, but then I get the assist on the second guy, able to come another kill there. This is in safeguard, so it's perfect spot. The guy doesn't notice me, that makes the XR2 level 12. Uh, I was just waiting, the guy, seriously lagging, jumps up there. That picks us, uh, that gives us a bloodthirsty and the chameleon camo, as I said, which I'm happy to get, which means it makes it easy for me to get gold camo, because all I need is long shots and... Uh, all attachment kills for the XR2, and then it is gold. But anyway, as you can see on screen now, the XR2 is max level, prestige 1 max level. That's so why I'm going to be prestiging it to prestige 2 next time I do the XR2. So obviously, I know, I think some people have been a bit misunderstood of how I'm doing the series, so I'll just quickly explain it. So I get a gun to the nearest prestige it's at, so then I move on to the next one. Once I've gone through every single one, I'll go back and finish off any gun that I haven't actually got to the max level, get it to the next prestige, and then go around again. And if I, haven't, I still haven't completed any, I'll go back around again. I'm just going to go around that to keep it fresh, so I'm not doing one gun all over over and over again, and it gets a bit boring. So I'm just trying to keep it fresh, uh, trying to use different guns. So if, you, so if you're a bit confused, um, that's kind of how I am doing it. So anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video here. Like I said, the XR2 is now Prestige 1 max level, nearly Prestige 2. Uh, so that's going to end this episode, guys. Uh, so I've been Tom, and I'll see you all later.